Hi, this is Bill Prater and welcome to Supercharging Business Success. Our mission is to provide you with timely, provocative, and actionable resources that inspire, promote, and accelerate your quest for business excellence. Today's episode is steps to successfully raise your rates without losing clients in just seven minutes with Lauren Fogelman. Lauren is a nationally recognized keynote speaker and one of America's top ranked business coach coaches. From 2018 to 2020, Lauren has been steadily recognized by HubSpot in its annual list of the top, world's top 22 business coaches. As a, as a keynote speaker, Lauren has delivered talks in workshops across the United States at major conferences such as Inbound, which is one of the world's most esteemed content marketing events for entrepreneurs, as well as many niche conferences for accounting professional. Uh, Lauren's expertise is in pricing strategy and sales for small business owners. Her passion is to empower entrepreneurs to double revenue by working half the time through strategic prices, uh, pricing and effective sales techniques. Uh, Lauren coaches service-based entrepreneurs to shift away from the trap of dollars per hour, that business model, into a value-based model that has, in some cases, allowed her clients to reduce workload load by as much as 50% while doubling revenues. Lauren, that is great. Great to have you here. Bill, thanks so much. I am excited to go through all this with you in seven minutes or less. Perfect. So let's start off by asking you, Lauren, who is your ideal client? My ideal client is service-based entrepreneurs and business owners who charge by the hour, the session, or the project. They want to be able to earn more money. However, they don't want to make the sacrifice of their lifestyle in order to be able to have more revenue coming in. Nicely said. I can, I can recognize some of those people in our listeners right now. So what's the uh, primary problem, Warren, that you solve for these folks? The primary problem is how to earn more without having to sacrifice other parts of their life in order to be able to bring in more revenue. Basically, what they don't know how to do is to separate their fees from time. And when their income is connected to their time, they are having to give up other important parts of their life if they want to earn more money. That's a big problem. Yes, it is. So uh, what sort of, Lauren, what sort of feelings or emotions or symptoms do people have that they experience that would say to them, you know, I've got the problem that I heard Lauren talk about and I need to talk to her. So what symptoms are they that you see? The thing that comes up for them a lot of times is that they want to raise their rates. However, they're afraid of losing clients. Nobody else maybe char charges more than that. They feel that their geography can only handle a certain amount for that rate and they won't tolerate more. As a result of that, they are trading their dollars for hours. And what I believe is that when they're doing that, not only is it unfair to them, but it is unfair to their clients as well because it now puts them at opposing sides where your clients want you to work as quickly as possible. They're watching the clock and you want to take as long as possible. Therefore, it actually doesn't encourage or incentivize you to become more efficient and really gain more expertise with what you do. Okay. Now you touched a bit, a little bit on my fourth question just then, and that is what are the common mistakes, Lauren, that, that you see people making time after time after time as they try to, to, to push the envelope and solve the problem you just verbalized? Mm -hmm. Right. This is going to take it a little bit deeper. What happens is when they are talking with someone or in any type of networking or marketing, they are focusing on the features the products, the steps, as opposed to the benefits and outcome. That is because the products, the system, the steps is important to you as the business owner. You invested a lot of time, money, and effort into gaining that level of expertise or that process. However, that's not what your clients are really investing in. Your clients actually invest in your 
Um, your clients actually invest in your expertise and what you know, not what you do. What you have to show them is that what they have to gain from investing you in you is going to be greater than the fees that they actually pay for your service. I, I just want to say that one more time, Bill, for emphasis. Clients need to believe that the investment that they are going to make in working with you is less than what they have to gain. They're going to make more money or free up more time by uh, hiring you than what they're going to be paying you for your service. That's beautiful. So I know you've got a lot of things you could, you could suggest that our listeners do, Lauren, but question number five is what's one valuable free action that our listeners could take right away to help them uh, solve the problem you've identified? Mm -hmm. The word is bundles. You, okay. want, you want to look at bundling your services together into packages as opposed to selling things a la carte or one off. When you sell things one off, then your clients are making a decision as to whether to work with you or move on to somebody else. When you bundle your services together and you give them options of let's say a silver, a gold, and a diamond option, I'll explain those really quickly in a moment, then the decision is how to work with you, not if to work with you. Oh, the, silver, nice. the silver is for your most price sensitive clients. The gold is the most popular where the mo most of your clients will actually choose that option. And then the diamond is for your clients that have more complexities or they want some exceptions. And they, this is the way to accommodate them. So give them three options of silver, the bare minimums, gold, where most people need to opt in, and then diamond is for the ones who want concierge oh, that's, services. That's I love that packaging idea very much. So, Laura, I know you've cooked up a beautiful, valuable, free resource that, that our listeners can, can have that you're offering. So what mm -hmm. is the resource and where do they go to find it on your website? The resource is called Get Paid What You're Worth. In this resource, I really go deeply into how to begin separating your fees and time into the pricing strategy. I also talk about what I call the X factor. You'll have to opt in to figure out what the X factor is that really allows you to move forward or holds you back. That's the resource covers what is your system which separates you from everybody else, focusing on your expertise, how to be able to separate your fees from time, looking at where you might be thinking that you can't do this or you're holding yourself back. Also focusing on who do you want to surround yourself with and knowing exactly who your ideal client is. Those are the things you need to be able to actually put this into play on your own and be able to get started or we can talk about it further if you wanted to have that conversation. You can find this at Business Success Solution, singular, business success solution com forward slash worth. Oh, nice, nice. So, Lauren, I've asked you uh, six questions. We got a minute to How go. How are we doing for time? Great. One minute to go. I'm game. Plenty of time. So, what questions should I have asked you that I didn't ask? So, what's the question and what's the answer, Lauren? The question is, what are the steps to separate your fees from time in order to earn more and double your income while working half the time? The answer is, know exactly who your ideal client is. It isn't everybody who breathes or has skin. Be very, very specific about your ideal client. Then you want to understand your system for getting a result. What is your process that positions you as an expert? looking at how to be able to bundle or package your services together, how to be able to start to price it for value instead of charging for your time. Where do you find your ideal client? Where do you want to spend your energy and find them where they hang out instead of having them find you? And then the last part is how do you have a value conversation to enroll new clients instead of doing a sales pitch because most of my clients, wow. they don't like the sales part. Well, yeah, that's right. Lauren, that's been spectacular. So let me wrap this up. Okay, how much time do we have left over? We, uh, we have <laughs> 39 seconds to go. Perfect. So in closing, I'd like everybody to focus on this single fact, and that is that businesses 
do not become extraordinary in a single moment. They get there as a result of the owner learning and applying a proven combination of the right mindset, a dedication to a system of management, and leveraging high performance teams. Lauren, once again, thank you very much. We enjoyed you. having you here.